In the last demonstration, we saw how we could easily machine a 3D model within ArtCam Pro. In this demonstration, we're going to take a look at some of the other options available for machining. The first one we're going to take a look at is the toolpath summary. Importantly, we can see how long it's taken us to machine the piece. So we can see from here the overall time to machine this lizard using both toolpaths is going to be 2 hours and 38. If we come down to the individual tool, it will tell us the actual tool that's being used, the speed rate, the feed rate, the step over rate, and also how long that tool will take. Then under this we have our finishing tool, so our 3mm bull nose tool. Again the speeds and feed rates and step over rates were on this. Also the machining time is 1 hour and 24. Now in ArtCam Pro we have the ability to change this. We could change our speed rates and feed rates manually by opening the toolpath up and changing them. Or if we come to the batch calculate tool we can optimize the toolpath. What this does is it automatically works out the feed rates and the speed rates. So if we're on a straight, it will speed up as fast as it can and then slow down for the corners and then speed up again. Now we'll be able to see what this has done better if we open our toolpath summary tab again. Now we see the original machining time was 2 hours and 38. Our optimized time is 1 hour and 5 minutes. So it's improved it by well over half. If we take a look at our roughing tool, our 10mm tool, you can see 1 hour 13, which has now been reduced to 36 minutes just by selecting the optimized tool. Again down to the 3mm ball nose tool, 1 hour 24 down to 28 minutes. So we can see just by optimizing our toolpaths how quickly we can speed up our operation. Now we're going to take a look at some of the other options available. I'm going to take a look at the simulation now. So if I just delete the old simulation and then select simulation again, I'm going to take it the actual simulation options themselves. Now, here we have the ability to simulate this quite fast, standard, or high detail. We can also custom resolution as well. So we can type in our own pixels per millimeter. Also, if we see here, if I type in 10, it will automatically change the amount of memory that's being used to do this. Now I'm going to go for 15 and simulate this toolpath. So if we just zoom in, we should see that we've got a much better finish when we simulate higher than at the fast simulation takes slightly longer but you get a much nicer finish. Now I'm just going to go back and do the roughing one. So I'm just going to simulate this. Okay so the next thing we're going to take a look at with both of these simulated is actually some of the shading options available. So from this list here, you can actually view our simulation in any material we like. So if you're creating out of a shiny gold material, whether it's going to be out of a brushed silver, or even down to a wood material. So you'd also be able to see where the shadows and highlights are within the model. We also have the option from the assistant tab 
to actually play around with the lighting as well. So we can actually add some more ambient light into this, slightly brighter. We can add lights or move lights around or turn lights off. We can also change our background. So if we wanted it just to be plain white, we could have a plain white background. Or we could go back and we could use a cloudy effect or a textured background. Or going back to the art cam background. We also have the ability to save our 3D model out. So we can save the 3D view as an image. We've got the options to save them as bitmap, TIFFs or JPEGs. So whatever you see within the 3D view, you can save this out and give it to a customer or you'll be able to see for your own reference exactly what it looks like.